Hello everybody and welcome to part 10 of the Sims 4 100 baby challenge. My name is Wim Reaper. Welcome to the channel if you're new and welcome back if you're returning. Um, last part we aged up our two babies Carlotta and Cletus into toddlers. So that was a good time. Uh, it was a bit of a long episode, but uh, still fun nonetheless. Rita is definitely in need of getting her needs up. She is tucking in Carlotta, which is really cute. I wish I would have caught that, but I didn't realize what she was doing. Um, and yeah, the toddlers are, I think, in a pretty good mood. They're just a little tired, but they can work on their needs for sure. So Shaggy and Fred are pretty close to being able to age up, which is exciting. And Adelaide and Gerard have quite a ways to go because they need to go to school. And tomorrow they will be going to school. And that is kind of when Rita will give birth. She'll either give birth tomorrow or the next day. It seems like it'll be... Um, Possibly tomorrow. No, it should be Tuesday, actually, probably. But I'm planning on going until we have baby number seven. So that will be fun. Now, this house is a mess, as always. <laughs> and I think Adelaide, she has school, but she's not too tired right now. So I'll get her to throw away these dishes. I don't know why. Oh, the sinks are broken. That's why she can't wash them. Cletus already got the thinking skill. Wow, that's impressive, actually. <laughs> I think it usually takes quite a while to get that one up. So he has the thinking skill. Oh, he hasn't got it to like level two or anything. Well, we could try to get it to level two. We can just uh, <laughs> spam this interaction on the bear. Um, yeah, okay, so how's his little sister doing? Well, I guess twin sister. She has one for absolutely everything, so Cool. Okay. So these two are already starting on their skills. Shaggy, uh, he really needs sleep, but the toddler beds are being used. Who has the most energy? Uh, it seems like Adelaide does. Or maybe Fred does. No, Fred does. He can get up. And then Shaggy can take his place with this toddler bed. Now, we're gonna need more toddler beds than I thought we were because I don't think we can deal with the just two. At the other house we have three, but like the one we're going to end up moving into, but right now uh, that's a little tricky. So what does Fred need? Okay, he definitely needs to get his potty skill up, so maybe we should wake up Rita. Okay, she's starving actually. Let's get Rita to have some food, and then she can potty train Fred, because Fred needs to get that skill up really badly. And yeah, okay, so let's maybe have, okay, Gerard, you're doing pretty good. Oh, don't play games. Um, we can maybe have him develop uh, his social skill. We could chat in the kids' room. I think that would be fun. We don't want these two to go to bed too late, though, because it is their first day of school. Well, it's not their first day, really, but it's their first proper day I would say because they didn't have their homework done before this and Rita had just walked in on Gerard how embarrassing okay um I guess she's gonna go eat she hasn't already um does a toddler need to eat because they could steal that food that's just sitting there oh Shaggy really does but he's also way tired okay let's just get Fred to eat this while his mom also eats some food while he's waiting to be potty trained. Oh, Gerard's manners are going down from the chat room. Oh, did he embarrass himself? Oh, it's oh, it's from getting walked in on. That makes sense. Unpleasant surroundings. Why don't you take out the trash, young man? You're trying to get your responsibility up anyway. And what about how's Rita doing? Okay, she's still eating. Rita's doing better. How's Cletus doing? Okay, he needs to sleep. He's been working on the blocks for a while now. He could probably trade off with his sister. Yeah, that's fair enough. And then sleep. 
You can tell I've given Cletus and Carlotta makeovers. Carlotta had the same hair as her brother before, which was kind of cute, but I wanted to use this CC hair that I got. I thought it suited her just a little bit better. And I gave her pink jammies, but she has mint green for a lot of her outfits, which I think that's kind of cool. What skills do you need? Oh, she could get out her movement or her thinking. Let's just have her stat. And what about Fred? Oh, he's hungry, but I just told him to eat some food. Uh, what about Rita? <laughs> just gotta make sure- it's so much. Look at- we almost have a full household. It's so much to manage everybody all the time. What is Gerard doing? Oh, she's just chatting? Uh, maybe- yeah, just don't. So that we can potty train Fred. And then Fred, his hunger isn't even that bad. Did he just eat something? Oh yeah, the salsa was just not good. I remember now. Okay, eat that up. Okay, good. Now she can potty train him. Yeah, <laughs> we have so many toddlers. Look at all of them. Like, <laughs> they're all hanging out. What is Rita doing? Oh, she's talking to him from over there. Okay, fair enough. And look at her. Oh, Carlotta's actually really pretty. I love her. And it's kind of funny. We have, um, out of our two girls, they're like, um, I don't know how to explain. Like, Adelaide has red hair and Carlotta has black hair. But then uh, Cletus has red hair and Gerard has, like, kind of black hair. Anyway, I'm going to leave the walls um, cut away so you can see. Maybe we should uh, get Rita to use the washroom afterward as well, because her bladder is going down real fast. She's almost in third trimester, which is a big deal. And what is your trait? Because I think that they only get sad from being hungry with certain traits. Oh, she's clingy. Okay, so maybe that does that. But we can certainly get some food out for her. Uh, that's poor quality. That's normal. So she can grab that survey. And she already has movement level 2, it seems. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> Jeez, I'm getting better at managing the toddlers, that is for sure. How much is left? One. Okay, so we can't get that for him. I'm gonna have to have him eat this one. Unfortunately isn't probably enough food but that should be all right. Actually no Shaggy needs that. We'll get him to steal it first and cancel it for Fred. So we need Rita to make some food <laughs> really badly. <laughs> Hopefully she can before she passes out. It seems like this should almost be done. I don't really know how to tell. It's like, it takes a long time. Don't make a mess, Fred. Uh, um, I guess we'll just have to get him to eat the nachos, even though they're not very good, unfortunately. Just because, yeah, Rita will pass out if she has to make something. So we're going to send her to bed, and then she needs a shower and fun desperately. Like, she took out her phone for one second, and I'm just like, nope. So I kind of feel bad even. Uh, okay, yeah, you're eating. Good. I don't know. We won't get him to go to the potty, will we? He only has potty level 1. He's so close to potty level 2. He also needs thinking, though. Okay. Why can't she go in there? I guess she wants a shower instead? Okay. What about Adelaide? Oh, she's cleaning up. How nice. Okay. Uh, the kids can have quick meals. That's never a problem. And then I'm going to get her to only have like a really quick shower and then potty train Shaggy. Because that would be really good if we could get that to work. Also, we need to... Maybe we should just replace this. It's only 60 simoleons. Let's do it so that we can actually wash dishes instead of uh, frantically like going around everywhere. Um, I don't want to wake up Gerard on a school day. How's Adelaide doing? Okay, she should go to sleep too. 
because she will does not want to be tired for tomorrow. And I guess one of her brothers can steal that then, if someone's hungry. Uh, is anyone hungry? Okay, let's just see. Okay, uh, Cletus is. So, get that. Applesauce. And is Rita actually? Oh, she passed out. Okay, that didn't work so well. Um, okay, we're going to potty train Shaggy once she is back up, though. Oh, uh, poor Rita. And... What are you doing, sweetie? Carlotta is- oh, she's just tired. Oh, look at her! That's so cute! I feel it. Aww. What a strange childhood it would be to live in this house. <laughs> Don't you think? Like, just uh, so many kids all around all the time and then you just share this one little room. I don't know, it's just like looking at that particular scene. I was just like, wow, they've got it a little rough, don't they? If you're new to this channel, by the way, uh, I accidentally picked a lot trait for this lot, which means that if we conceive children on this lot, then there's like a pretty good chance they'll be vampires. So that means that uh, we kind of <laughs> have to move to fix the lot trait situation. That's according to the rules, not according to the game or anything. I know that you could just change it if you wanted to, but according to the game rules, you're not allowed to do that. So we're not going to. We're going to move into a different house I made. It's a little yellow house. Um, the speed build should be on my channel by now. I'm pre-recording a lot, so it's hard for me to tell when everything's going to be coming out. But it should be up by now, I believe. So, yeah. I wonder how old Rita is, actually. I keep meaning to check, and I don't. Okay, so she is 17 days until she's an adult. That's not the greatest. I don't even know how she aged up this much, because I'm pretty sure she was pregnant, like, most of the time. And Sims don't age when they're pregnant. But I'm assuming we're doing pretty well. We need to make sure that like she doesn't age up too quickly though. And it's rebate day, which is perfect. You know what I'm gonna do then? I am gonna buy <laughs> uh, the family portrait because that's quite an expensive thing. And if we get a rebate on it, it'll just be a lot better. I had to get a CC version of this. So, um, it's not the, I guess, EA version, but it's like, it's basically the exact item. It's just that I couldn't get Sims Mobile, so we get to have a modded version of this. So what color should we go with? I don't really know. I think maybe silver would be, like, this is huge also. I have to age, or not age it down. I have to size it down, like, to about maybe like that. I think the silver looks good. Okay, so see it has this and then I think you can lock it in live mode. Uh, yeah, randomize pose, lock portrait, enable emotional aura, and change portrait outfit. Appreciate it. Okay, so that's really good. So it works basically exactly like the um, EA version. It's just that we, I had to mod it in because I can't get the Sims mobile. <laughs> But that's fine. Okay, so Rita, you can get out of the bath and go to sleep because you're going to have a big day with the toddlers while Gerard and Adelaide get to go to school. And also she might be giving birth. Like, I think she's in her third trimester by now. You should say. Second. Okay, so never mind. She won't be giving birth today. She'll be giving birth on Tuesday. Okay, Gerard. He's getting his fun up. Adelaide. Wow, these two are in a great mood. This is, they're going to get their grades up for sure to level B. And then they should be uh, on their way to becoming teenagers. Although, oh no, <laughs> Carlotta is hungry and we have absolutely no food. So we're going to have to get Adelaide to help by have a quick meal of whatever chips. <laughs> That's not healthy for a toddler. And then we're going to cancel her eating it and then... Uh, we can have Carlotta steal it. And don't eat them. Just put them down. 
She steals one. <laughs> Adelaide steals a little chip, then lets her sister have the rest. We really need to clean this kitchen. Have a look at it. Oh, oof. And let's kick off Gerard so he doesn't play too long and not go to school on time. What is this? Swipe an item. Wow. Well, maybe we can do that if we go to the park or something. <laughs> uh, I don't know. What does Rita want to do? I guess you can't see unless she's awake. But she had a good rebate day and none of the kids care about it, so that's all that really matters, right? Um. Oh, Cleo just needs attention. We can maybe potty train him for attention later. Uh, okay, Fred and Shaggy are both hungry, so we're gonna get Rita to get up and make food, because otherwise we might have a problem. Let's make pancakes, because pancakes are fun, and even though it's a little more expensive, I mean, oh well. We gotta treat our toddlers once in a while. I mean, look at the state they have to live in. <laughs> look at this lot. It's also a huge lot, and I wish that I hadn't got it in the first place, because then it would be easier to work up to the one that I actually want. I guess we could like sell some of the fences, but like they'll get sold anyway when we move, so I don't see the point. Alright, are the kids off to school? They are going to grade school, good job, okay. And we gotta make sure to set them to work hard. So, okay, you need sleep. Who is sleeping right now? Uh, people who really need sleep. Okay, so I guess you're gonna have to nap on the couch. Okay, Gerard and Adelaide are at school now. So let's set it for them to study hard so that they can get their grades up really fast. And pancakes are on the way, toddlers. <laughs> don't, don't freak out. Okay, so Shaggy is hungry and he needs fun. But he can potty train himself. So you know what? Let's have him potty train himself before breakfast. Oh, and Rita already got herself a plate. So who really needs food? Okay, you do. Come and grab a serving. The quality is poor. Is it because of the oven? Because, yeah, it looks horrible. <laughs> like, how can you mess up on pancakes so badly? Uh... But I guess, oops, um, that's just, that's just what it is. And then after he's done potty, we can grab a serving as well. Okay, that seems good. And Rita, she's doing okay, uh, except for energy, which is always the problem. Like, we need to get, like, the best bed or something. Like, we spent so much money on that portrait, I almost wish we didn't. But, like, it's for the memories of it. Okay, and then she should with walk or something before she passes out because her fun is constantly like at the lowest point <laughs> uh i can't wait until we move either because the other house like it just looks so much nicer than this place <laughs> this place is really dull i guess i know one way we could save money because it seems like this is supposed to be the kitchen kind of um one way we can save money it's just by painting the kitchen a different color. <laughs> just like this. Um, that gives us 20 simoleons for each wall. And yeah, that's already that. But yeah, I, I put the kitchen in a weird spot. But there we go. Okay, so it seems like that was supposed to be the kitchen, but I put it opposite. Oh well. Okay, so she is gonna pass out, which is very unfortunate. And I'm pretty sure Adelaide and Gerard must be doing well. Yep, they- oh, they needed to get one skill to level two each. Good thing I did that, because I didn't actually realize. Well, um, that's an oopsie on my part, but nothing bad came of it anyway. <laughs> okay, so what about your skill? He hasn't gotten it to level 2 yet. That is kind of frustrating. Once we can afford to get like the tablets for the toddlers, everything will go faster. But I kind of like this, where it's like you have to 
just like all the toddlers have to share all these objects and like it takes a long time to do anything Bako no I feel like we need to like make enemies with Bako or something so he stops calling us wait a minute did we we didn't potty train him stop taking a shower potty train Cletus A lot of the kids are way more like Rita than I would have thought. Like, they a lot of them have red hair and her eye color, which, if it were real life, they probably wouldn't because of the way that genetics works. So I found that interesting. So since genetics is not like real life genetics, at least as far as what we've seen so far, because there's no way that Cletus would have ended up with red hair because Mortimer Goth definitely looks like he's like Spanish or something and I don't think that Spaniards tend to have red hair genes but that I don't know for sure don't quote me on it obviously and I don't even know if Mortimer Goth is supposed to be Spanish so you know I could be way off in left field okay are is he getting potty trained or not It seems like it. Like, what is going on? It seems like it's glitching really badly. What? I think that he might be glitched. Okay, so let's see if this works now. Um. It could be because Rita's needs are very low. That happens sometimes. Okay, it seems to be working now. Okay, uh, we just need to get Shaggy's thinking up, even though he's like super tired. Because then we can hopefully age up these two soon. Because having toddlers, oh my gosh. I just want them to age up so fast. I feel like I'm kind of being slow at this challenge since we only have six kids and it's hard I like hardly any of them have aged up at all like they're mostly toddlers and then we have two kids okay and we're just gonna let him be passed out and then continue to do this okay what about these two um okay Fred is pretty much fine so we should get him to be potty trained as well because he could work on that by himself afterward but Rita might be too tired yeah I don't know how that will go okay so Rita has a great reputation that can be helpful sometimes I think that it gives you special opportunities and <laughs> I don't understand why potty training takes so long. Like, it takes hours. Look at this. It's like, okay, two, 20 minutes later, 30 minutes later. Like, and that wasn't even the entire time. <laughs> okay, Adelaide has returned with a school project. Gerard swiped an object. Gerard returned with a school project. Hey, that's great news. Okay, that worked out really well. So, we're gonna potty train. Fred. Okay, so Adelaide and Gerard have their grades up. They both really need fun though. We'll get Adelaide to read. Gerard, uh, he's actually not doing too bad for fun. So we could get him to work on the project. We could place it in the world at the very least. And he can work on that. And maybe that will even be fun. Start working carefully. And can Adelaide help him? Oh, that doesn't really seem like it. Okay, Rita. <laughs> uh, don't check your toddler. We still need to potty train Fred. Okay, so Gerard is working on his project. Oh, Adelaide can help him. And then that might get her... Uh, in a better mood as well. So what do they need to get to grade 8? Skill to level 4, 
and do the homework. So that should not be too terribly difficult. Okay, so he has extra credit, yay. Okay, so there's his little solar system. Okay, Gerard, put that in your inventory. Okay, so he needs fun, hygiene, and energy. Maybe he can have a bubble bath. Or he can play in the bath. Okay, I didn't realize that's the thing. He can play in the bath. I wonder if that means he's going to have a bath or if he's just going to sit in the bath. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, no, he's going to get up his fun and his hygiene. Okay, that's perfect. Wow. Why is it not this effective for adults? I really don't get it. <laughs> so maybe I should just get like one of those tablets for the toddlers so that they can actually like advance your skills faster. Let's see how much it costs. 500 simoleons. Okay, I guess we're gonna do it because it's just taking way too long with all this other stuff. That way maybe we don't have to get their skills all the way up to a certain level for them to uh, be able to do things. Like, you can watch toddler videos. Okay, Shaggy can go and sleep in this bed now. And Cletus. Okay, that's <laughs> as good as we're going to be able to do for now. Okay, Adelaide. Okay, she's kind of doing okay. So read that until you get your fun in both yellow and then you're going to do your homework. I wish we had a table for them to do their homework at. I guess I could sit here maybe, but uh, our table burnt and we don't really have money for a new table, so we don't have a table, unfortunately. You know what? Why do we need these side tables? Like, they look nice, but, huh. I <laughs> like, I'm at the point where it's like, let's start selling windows. Like, yeah, why do we need that window? Like, just to help us to speed along in the challenge so that we can keep their needs up? Like, how much are these worth? Because if these windows are worth a lot of money, it's worth 35 simoleons. Okay, that's not that much. How much is this worth? 36. Okay. So, I don't care what this house ends up looking like. I'm going to get rid of these because we don't need it. And we do need money so that we can eventually actually progress in this challenge. So I think with that money, we could buy a toddler bed. So let's see how much they are. They might have to be, oh, here, they're down here. Okay, they're 160, so we can definitely afford one. Let's just get this yellow one and put it, ooh, for road, <laughs> out of room. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's put it in the kitchen. Wow, what a great bedroom. At least it's temporary. <laughs> okay, so now there are three toddlers that are very tired, but at least they all have our beds now. So that is going to be good. So you can wake up, Rita also wake up and actually give a bath to your toddler this time. <laughs> Carlotta, why are you doing your homework in the bathroom, Adelaide? How about you go sit somewhere? Okay, rebate day successful, yay, at least she got happy from that. So that's good. We're still in the third trimester. Probably gonna give birth while the kids are at school, I'm assuming. And what about Gerard? How are you doing? His energy is so bad. Okay, let's see his skills go. Is he even... Oh, he might be able to do it? Oh, I don't know. I don't want to push it too much. He could have a quick meal and then go to bed because otherwise he might be in too bad of a mood anyway and that would just be a waste of time. And we could always have him socialize at school. Actually, that doesn't get their social skill up though, does it? So that doesn't work super duper well. Adelaide, on the other hand, I don't think she can really even get there in time anyhow. So we don't gotta concern ourselves too much. What about Shaggy? 
he might just need to go to sleep so we don't have to worry about him at the moment. Carlotta's getting a bath. Cletus is... Uh, where is the thing again? The tablet always ends up over here. He can watch toddler videos. And what about Fred? Uh, Fred is talking to your father. Okay, so don't do that. Instead, go to the potty. Because I don't know how far he uh, off he is. Okay, so he's a little into level 2 and he's well into level 2. So that's really good. We need to get up his thinking skills still because that's the hard one to start off. And then after you've started it, it's like it's super fast for some reason. Okay, so Rita, go to sleep. Because you need to rest up and you're going to give birth soon to another baby, which is going to be even more work. Oh, I am not looking forward to a full house. I am looking forward to Adelaide and Gerard being teenagers, which is why I'm focusing on them so much, though. So, uh, what about... What is Adelaide doing? Okay, she's sleeping. That's probably the best. Uh... And then Gerard is also going to sleep. That's also probably for the best. Okay, school and is starting in an hour. So we're going to wake up Adelaide right now. And we're going to get her to work on extra credit before they go. And I don't know what to do about Gerard. He's not going to have a good day. Um, We'll just let him sleep, I think, until... It's time for school. And what about Shaggy? Okay, so Shaggy needs his energy to be better. Just eat your food. What the heck? Because he's like complaining. Like, this is what I mean. It's like, oh, I'm hungry. You literally aren't holding food. Or like, uh... Okay, Adelaide is still working on extra credit. We could even just have her go to school a tad bit late and have her finish the extra credit because Gerard essentially did the project as extra credit. So that would kind of put them on the level for performance, I'm assuming. And is she done? She's only halfway done. Hmm. I bet it's getting up her skill as well. What skill is it doing? mental and that's what she wants to get up but we don't have a chess table or anything to work on either oh wow rita went on into labor just as the kids were leaving for school that's kind of what i predicted okay so we're gonna go to the hospital to hopefully have a little glitch <laughs> happen and also i guess we can collect another um <laughs> Another birth certificate. We're gonna travel with uh, Travis. Usually this doesn't actually work, but we are going to. And then we're gonna end the episode after our baby is born. Like I said, I have baby name suggestions from TJ Wolfie. Thank you very much. I love them, especially the girl ones. So I kind of hope we have a girl because I want to use your girl name suggestions. Uh, but we shall see. It might be a girl, might be a boy. Okay, so Travis is here, and is he actually going to come in with us, or is he going to do what every single other guy has done? Uh, pretty sure he's gonna teleport away, right? Uh, yep, that's what happened. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, let's try to check in, like we always have. Yeah, goodbye, no doubt. I don't think anyone's at the desk, so we might as well take advantage of- Or is he here, actually? Well, no. He's not here. <laughs> Stop being crazy. Okay. Wait a minute. What? We have a ghost doctor? 
that's something I haven't seen before. <laughs> Is this gonna change anything? Let's see. Let's check in with the ghost doctor <laughs> um, and see if we can go get fur. This is super, super weird. Um, okay, so she has a thing above her head now, which means she's checked in. And yes, our needs went up. Hallelujah. <laughs> uh, that's like the only time we get our needs up is when we go to the hospital. So it's almost kind of scary we won't be having any kids, but it's also a relief, don't get me wrong. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what gender is Travis Scott's baby. And it's the same doctor again. He definitely thinks we're insane at this point. Uh, I hope at some point in this challenge we get triplets. That'd be really cool. Especially if it was like alien triplets or something. I definitely want to go to Planet Sixum at some point in the very far future when we can afford a rocket ship. And we have time to build one and all that, but oh, we have 24 hours to pay our bills. Oh, nice. That's great. That's all I have to worry about right now. I'm only in labor. <laughs> uh, even if our power did get shut off, I mean, like, it seems like there's not that much consequence for it. It's just like, oh, okay, then we'll pay it late. And then it's like, oh, your power's back on immediately. Oh, it is a girl. Okay, so this is baby number seven. And... This will be a full house baby, and I'm going to use the name suggestion Laura that TJ Wolfie gave. So it's a Laura Castle, Travis Scott's daughter. What a nice name and what a nice baby. How exciting! I'm actually really excited we had another girl because um, I wanted to use the name Laura really badly. Although your other name suggestions were also very good, so thank you once again. But where is she? She disappeared already. <laughs> I guess we might have to travel home to see her. But there she is, right in the little queue. She's just up above Rita's head. <laughs> and yeah, with that, I think I'll just leave the episode here. And I will see you guys, hopefully, in the next part. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more. And yeah, I'll see you again. Goodbye!